Okay, new game. Let's do this. So as always, timing doesn't start until until character selection is complete. It gives runners the time to customize their character to their liking. I would not want to infringe on anyone's creative energy during a speed run. Um, and I think rushing through character creation would be pretty arbitrary anyway. So anyway, we've got this fun little intro cutscene and then we're gonna jump right into the run. It could take a minute, but uh, you know, slow and steady wins the race in this game, that's for sure. Hydrate? We're deemed to hydrate in chat. Thank you, Yuka, and welcome to the stream. You should run this to GDQ or something. I think it'd be pretty fun. Fun fact, uh, it's actually faster to be a boy. I didn't realize that until last run. Being a boy changes some of the character dialogue. So it's faster than being a girl. Always jorts. That's the way I do it. Blue on blue. Nice blue outfit. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I'll point them out as we get to them. But essentially, certain dialogues are faster if you're a boy. This is exactly what people play. Well, this is what people play when they're actually uh, certifiably insane. If they just play it day on day on day, the same couple uh, quests over and over again. That's what crazy people do. It's in the DSM. So. To sign that for you. Thank you, Mickey. Gosh, I bet you're gonna get lots of autographs. I bet I am too, Hello. Mickey. Thanks for getting Donald's autograph for me. So it actually you lose a little bit of time on Mickey by being a boy, I think, uh, which is why that keeps happening. But I'm gonna gain that time back. And like Beast dialogue is like literally eight seconds faster if you're a dude. Oh, you're if you're a girl, Beast will say, "Please don't be frightened by my appearance." But if you're a boy, Beast will just say, Yo, what's up, dude? I'm the Beast. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. Game kind of sexist, TBH. But that's okay. So Donald's the only character that'll just, like, give you his autograph. So that's good. But look, we saved the time on Donald. I legitimately think that is sexism. Uh, don't worry, Arthur. I'll be here. I know. Kind of messed up. Kind of messed up that the game uh, divides it by gender and you have to play as a boy. I think playing as a boy is faster. I haven't definitively tested it, but like, you'll see later that I'm going to gain time for no reason. And it's only because I'm a boy, I think. I'm like 90% sure. Thanks, pal. But actually, this autograph book's not for me. Mickey hits you with the but actually. Wants an autograph collection and SMH. I it might be nice to help him get started. Do you think you could bring the book to him? I can bring the book to him, Mickey. Thank you for asking. Oh, and thanks for giving the book to Goofy. Always make sure to hold the direction you want to go out of a cutscene. That's important for this game, so you can get started walking, even as the cutscene's fading. You gotta kind of memorize what direction you're supposed to be going, but it's uh not very difficult. So, so now we're just walking over to Goofy. He's down here by Donald, of course. You know D Goofy of the acclaimed Goofy movie. Talk to him. Howdy, sport. I'm Goofy. I don't believe we've met before. Wowee! Donald signed that for me! Gorge, thanks. Okay. So now we've got Goofy's autograph. Goofy is pretty good. We need to get all these autographs because this is all part of a quest line that gives you the camera, and the camera is necessary for a quest that will later spawn Jasmine. So these quests kind of have to be done. Okay. Fantasy land. Go to entrance. Hold the direction you want to go. So now talking to Mickey here, now that we've given the autograph book to Goofy, uh, Mickey just gets so excited that he's going to give us that camera that we need. I've got a 
present for you. It's your own magic. My notes are over now. here, so if you see me just like look over here all the time, that's why. Picture of me. <laughs> here, I'll pose okay. and you can take my picture. So now okay. this is pretty tight execution. We need to quickly switch to the camera and then take the picture. I lost like a half second there. Oh I got an idea. That's okay. Copy me. You can tell this game is a connect port because normally you would actually have to like do the pose, but the game just kind of plays itself in these sections. All good. You got it. <laughs> okay. Now it'll kick you out of this cutscene, and uh, we're going to avoid getting that Mickey quest. There's another more convenient time to get it. And in the meantime, now that we're level 2, Cinderella spawns a quest that'll give us the magic wand. Now the magic wand is really important because this whole speedrun is around centered around getting to level 6 because all, the last character spawns in at level 6 and the wand is important to get to level 6 hello, because it's like free XP but as you're walking around the park hello, young man. hey Vortex Cinderella. It's very cool nice to see you man hello there my friends the bluebirds told me you've been quite busy how do you join well, a team I have a I'm not sure what you're asking you. It's do you have the current and the only world record? I do have the current world record, and my friend Kyle has also done a run. Wonderful things. But, uh... Take care of this special gift. I don't know and if he's remember, uploaded them. Use it wisely. It's almost time to go to the ball. So we're gonna do this quest that Cinderella gives us, um... Just because it gets us to level 3 pretty perfectly. Or, I'm sorry, it gets us closer to level 3. I'd be happy to make you something special to wear. With the help of my friends, the mice, it'll take no time at all. Okay, so now this quest oh, involves equipping the wand, wand, so now you get to see the wand in action. Very elegant. <gasps> really? you look so uh, there's magical. one... Now, look for something to cast us. Right here, come on, grab it. There it is. We also need some money, so I'm gonna go kind of out of the way and grab some money over here. Oh, Project Icarus team? I think Oven Donkey runs it. You might have to request him to get access, I'm not sure. Do a run once done speedrun.com, bet curation. I encourage you to. I need to make sure I'm at 35,000. Thank you for the bit, Vortex. Oh, I'm already at 35,000? Fantastic, okay. That's all I need. So now we're just going to go straight to the next... That looks like a job Come on. Your magic wand. Come on. There it is. Okay. Kind of slow. Um, the wand didn't target exactly what I wanted, so it was a little bit slow. And we had to loop around to get some extra coins because I was a little low on money. But all good. We'll talk to Cinderella and finish this quest. And then we're going to warp to Big Thunder Mountain to get the last $50,000 we need, which will let us buy the autograph books. And if you happen to find more thread, please do bring it to me. I'm Those sure autograph books are crucial, because otherwise we cannot get the autographs. Remember, any will do. And that's what the speedrun we'll is. All autographs. Okay, so go to the park map. Now we need to go to Frontierland, and Big Thunder Mountain is like over here-ish. Okay, perfect. Have you done a speedrun of Mirror's Edge? What's Mirror's Edge? I've never even heard of it. Oh, you done good! Oh, Catalyst. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I have done speedruns of Catalyst. If you go to my speedrun.com page, you can see them. I think there's actually a thing in like my Twitch description where you can see all my PBs. If you want to like take a look, I'm pretty sure my Catalyst PB is linked in that too. I did any percent for a few months, I would say, when it first came out. And I enjoyed it. It's a fun game. I just, um, I never took it super seriously. But it was, um, I enjoyed it while, uh, while it was going. Yeah. So we need to get to 50,000 uh, gold in this mission, and it's pretty easy as rail long as you hit all the right rail switches using like your left and right hands. And you just keep pumping. You gotta always, you have to mash the X button on your Xbox controller to just keep pumping. Keep the speed up get a compliment I feel like I feel like you've been putting a lot of effort into your into like saying hi and being friendly in chat recently and I don't know if that's something consciously you've been doing or if you just feel more comfortable in chat but it makes it a very friendly place to hang out so thank you for text 
for being your friendly self. Something I've noticed recently. Ooh, money. I need the money. I would like to play it, but I need a more powerful computer. Yeah, Catalyst is a bit of a, um, a bit intense. A bit intense. I'm gonna kill the category today, Kyle. I'm going to kill this category today. I'm almost done. I just wanted to get it out of the way. What do you want my honest opinion on, Vortex? I see you redeemed it in chat. So you're entitled to an honest opinion on any subject. Almost any subject. About Ninja Moves 5? I think it's super duper hype. Ninja Moves 5 was sick. I don't think, like, I'm never going to get this quality of strats that Wreck gets. Just because I don't spend enough time grinding strats. Like, I think Rex spends months in, in, like, hundreds of, not hundreds of hours, but, like, dozens of hours on strat hunting. Whereas I spend, like, an even dozen, maybe. So I don't think the strats were up to, like, that quality. But I still think the editing was really cool. I'm happy with the way it turned out. I think the quality is really cool. I think the strats you contributed really rounded it out. And I'm happy I got to upload a longer montage, because I've never done that before. So I'm really satisfied with Ninja Moves 5. I'm actually taking like an unofficial break from Mirror's Edge right now. I think Ninja, Ninja Moves 5 was a capstone for me on like my goals right now. I don't really have, I mean, I have things I want to do. I literally could always grind for more times. Ready for adventure? But like, I feel pretty satisfied with uh, Mirror's Edge right now. And I think Ninja Moves 5 was a great capstone of that. Sometimes stuff gets hidden up Okay, so now we're going to buy the autograph books right here. Welcome to the Westward Ho Trading Company. Would you be interested in a new top? Thanks so much for shopping with us. I hope you found what you were looking for. You have a wonderful sense of style. Thank you. You've got wonderful taste. We're a little bit behind uh, because of that coin shortage that we had earlier. But that's no problem. We can make that time up later. That looks like a job for your... Well, hey, howdy, hey. Sheriff Woody at your service. Son. Did I come up with anything hey, new partner? for this run? A little Have bit. Met the rest of the Roundup gang yet? I mostly just want to get cleaner execution and not for like forget anything. Up over by Big Thunder Ranch. Say, I think I rerouted one or two missions, but this note to her for me. We're already off to a bad start because of that Thanks bad coin asking. routing, but That's we can make it up. Nice of you. For my favorite deputy. Well, so long, partner. And don't forget to drop by Big Thunder Ranch with that note. Hey, howdy, hey. Okay. If you see any evil doors, so now we're going to go do Jesse's quest. It's necessary to do this quest to spawn Stinky Pete. But also, uh, this quest is good for getting to level 3 anyway. So, we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here. Yeah, I'm like debating this ditch second mission. I don't think it's faster anymore just because Tiana's Gumbo, you can skip the dialogue for Stitch's second thing and just do Tiana's Gumbo, which you already have to get the dialogue for anyway. You can mash out of Stitch's second mission and avoid the dialogue altogether. So I think it might just be faster to do Tiana's and I know it works. So like, I'm just going to play it safe and probably do Tiana and Ariel same way I did last run. And I feel comfortable with that. Well, howdy, cowboy. I'm Jesse. Glad to meet you. Thank goodness, a friendly face. Oh, shucks, that's mighty nice of you. Okay. Now we're friends. It's official. Oh, no. This note from Woody says Stinky Pete spotted some rustlers. Dad nabbit. They could be stealing horses. We gotta find some evidence. Maybe the a little bit behind, but we can make it up. Could you help me look for signs of those no good outlaws? Definitely, Jesse. Don't even worry about it. So long, and don't forget about tracking down them rustlers. What in tarnation is that? Okay. Good or bad Good question. The ambient dialogue in this game is pretty funny. I like it a lot. Excuse me, guys. Do I think sub one hour is optimized? Uh, not right now. If someone finds a better route, then yes. Or if someone finds a glitch, obviously. Oh, 
Oh, I got stuck. Oh, I'm getting stuck. That's fine. Got out of there pretty quickly. Glitchless? Who said that? But yeah, right now it is glitchless. Shame. Someone's got to break this game, dude. I haven't put the work in to route it out to get sub one hour though. Maybe like if I routed Big Thunder Mountain better, or we found a better quest, we found a better ride, or if we found a ride that like got us a ton of levels. Yeah, money duplication or XP farming would be like crucial. Cricket, it looks like those wrestlers are everywhere. I got all the evidence we need now. You know, I reckon Sheriff Woody's gonna need some extra help rounding up the wrestlers. I think so too, Jesse. Just the person he needs. Would you go and have a word with him? I would love to have a word with him, Jesse. Goodbye! Don't forget to see the sheriff! Okay, so now we speak to Woody, and he's Wait, going to spawn Stinky that Pete. Like a job for your magic wand. I love how much Woody jumps hey, around when he says hi to me. Did Jesse send you my way? With it's kind of adorable. With all horse wrestling business, I think I could use a new deputy. And I bet you're just right for the job. I think so too, Woody. Happy trails, deputy! Okay, so now Stinky Pete will spawn because of all the hard work we've done in that quest for Jesse and Woody. So all we gotta do is walk straight over yonder. Gotta take the straightest line possible. Cut the corner a little bit here. Again, always spamming that wand, trying to just milk any bit of ex extra XP I can. Now, don't you go looking howdy, son. I'm Pete the Prospector. See, howdy, Some son. Me Di gender Pete. dialogue. I, I don't know, like this one doesn't probably doesn't make you a difference, a but some of them do. Oh, Pete. Well, I guess I could oblige. Okay, now we're going to warp back to well, Fantasy I hope Land. That's what you wanted. Stay clear, rattlers. And wrestlers. We're going to do Aurora's quest. This is going to get us pretty close to level 3 as well. This is all just in pursuit of level 3 here. Why, hello there. Hello. Oh god, her dialogue cut herself off. Lost a second. Man, Aurora. Oh, friend, you're just in time. That's a mage. It's my Aunt Merryweather's birthday soon. And Aunt Fauna and I want to bake her a special cake. But before we can start, we need to find our baking utensils. Could you help I can go find them, their baking utensils. Over the recipe? But I also need your autograph, please. You keep a special book of friends? How sweet! I'm so glad you asked me. See you in a little while. Please don't forget the utensils, dear. I would never, Aurora. Magic. Okay, so now the utensils are over yonder. There's one utensil by these red umbrellas. And then there's another utensil down by this bridge. Keep spamming that wand. Try to get um, as much XP as possible. Okay. There it is. And then the last one is right down here. So we're going to warp back now after we get this. And we're going to... And now that we're down uh, over here, there's not a more convenient time to get Snow White's autograph. If we try to get it later in the run then she'll have quest dialogue, which will take a few extra seconds. So it's better to just run over and grab it now that we're in the area. It's a little bit earlier than I did in the last run. You're going to see some time save on the split, um, but it's not real time save. It's just I did things a little bit in a different order. All good, though. So with that time save out of the way, let's go talk to Aurora. You're very kind to help. Aunt Merryweather we might be, Michael. We'll okay, so now I can start getting all the autographs in Fantasyland. 
Come on, come on. Captain Hall, Captain Ugh. Hall, call me boy. Do try to live up to the honor. I'm sure you're honored to have my signature in your book. I am, how'd you know, Captain Hook? Take your book back with my compliments. I bid you good day and trust you'll return. Okay. Now we can go run over and grab Peter Pan's. Gosh, you're just the boy I've been waiting to meet. I'm Peter Pan. Don't you think this is a great place to visit? Sure. Thanks for asking. Sign my book, Peter. Here you go. Goodbye. <laughs> For now. Oh, cool. Peter Pan's flight. Hey, are you a lost boy? I'm not doing Peter Pan's flight. Don't try to entice me. Stuff gets hidden up high. So if you spot something sparkling up there. Gosh, I sure would like to be a real boy like you someday. My name's Pinocchio. When he talks to a girl, he says, are you a real girl? And then when he talks to a boy, he says, I would like to be a real boy someday. Again, gendered dialogue. Did not expect that out of this game, but I guess it makes sense. Here's your book. Considering how Goodbye. gendered Disney is as an institution. Hello! Delighted to meet you, child. I'm the Hatter. Or at least the characters teacher. within it. Why, of course. Matt Hatter, though. He doesn't give a heck about my gender. You're very welcome, I'm sure. Thank you, Mad Hatter. Toodaloo. Okay, oh, now we will cruise on over to Alice. Uh, she's gonna give me a big quest How's dialogue, but boy? nothing you can do about it. I mean, the medge sub, the a medge segmented would go down pretty far if we like fully tasked it. I mean, we would just string across the whole level. But it would take. There's so much more strat discovery. Excuse me. There's so much more strat discovery that needs to happen before we can just like do that. I'm sure we're capable of it though. Thank you. I wonder if perhaps I dropped it at the tea party. If I did, the Hatter would know. Why don't you speak with him and see? Why yes, I'd love to sign your book. Thank you, Alice. Thank you. No, thank you. Don't forget my ribbon now. I would never, Alice. Oh. Watch how short oh. Beast's dialogue is. It's like five seconds longer when you're a girl. Bonjour, young sir. It's nice to meet you. You want me to sign? Whack. Watch how much time I save here. Thank you. Just for being a boy. Um, please take care of yourself. It's very nice to see you. Be careful. Messed up. It's like the kill the animal, save the animals. Be a boy, be a girl. I'm gonna get her signature, don't worry. Welcome, little boy. I am Her Majesty, the Queen of Hearts. I think this one might be a little bit shorter, too, by like a second. It could also just be that my movement between characters is getting better. Take your book back, my dear. Yes, well, you may return any time I wish. Oh, thank you, oh, good ma'am. Hello, young man. I'm the White Rabbit, royal herald to Her Imperial Highness, the Queen of Hearts. Okay. Oh, happy to dash something off to you, yes. Here's your book. It was kind of you to ask. You mustn't be late. Farewell. On you go. Excuse me, sirs. Oh, I'm going quick. Excuse me, fellas. Oh, I gotta go straight to Bell. Oh, hey, the princess. Bonjour. I'm Bell. How nice to meet such a fine young gentleman. Okay. Oh, I'd be happy to. During Ariel's quest dialogue, I'll alt tab out and I'll scroll down my document of notes. Hi. I'll tab. I'm Ariel. Sorry if anything's it's in the very way. Very nice to meet such a nice young gentleman. Isn't it amazing okay. here? Oh, I'm back in so the window. Fantastic. Gosh, 
Do you think you could help me find some dingle hoppers? Oh, I'd love to add more to my collection. If you see any, oh, please bring them back. I'll bring them back for you, Ariel. Don't Do even you sweat have it. A collection of books like this? I collect things too. I'm glad I'll be in your collection. <laughs> Bye. And don't forget. Look, look for, for dingle hoppers. There's one dingle hopper literally right here, Ariel. SMH. And then there's one down here. And there's one up here. It's like so hard to find this dingle hopper. It's like right here ish. Oh, there it is. And I think it's faster to warp back to Ariel in this scenario than it is to walk back. I'm just, I've never actually timed it though. Yikes. I'm not a good speedrunner. So oh, oh, but that's a quest done. I can even give some to Scuttle now. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Bye. Okay, I'm already level three. I'm, a, I'm doing really well on levels. I'm a little bit ahead even. This is really good. Normally I get to level three in Toontown. But all good. Not a bad thing to be ahead. Who me? Really? Why? I thought you'd never ask. Uh, a new skip would be pretty hype, dude. Here you go. Thanks again. Bye bye. Say. Let's see you do that again. I don't think he's doing it for Disneyland Adventures. You must have been a top cadet because Buzz Lightyear has something special for you. <laughs> Come on, Pluto. Yeah, stomp it. Oh man, that happens to me every time. That guy in the wheelchair can't be just pushed around like all the other NPCs for whatever reason. So he always gets in my way. To be fair, finding a Disneyland Adventure skip would please only me. Well, finding a Mirror's Edge skip would please a wide variety of people. So I would say his efforts are probably in the right direction. Okay, and now we'll talk to Chippendale, and that will complete the, all the autographs in this section of the game. So now we can go and do Aladdin's quest, which is very quick. One of the quickest quests in the game. Thanks, fellas. Okay. Aladdin. Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali Ababa. Ready for an adventure? Oh god, camera, please. Maybe you've heard of me. Unless it was something bad, and then you haven't. Hey, listen, my pal Genie was kind of feeling down today, and I was thinking, since you can do magic, well, would you put on a show for Word gets around you quick know, here. All these characters are like, like yo, kid, right you gotta do some magic. I'm like the well, sorcerer's apprentice. Never happens to me. There, that's for you. And thanks. No, oh, thank you, Aladdin. Gotta go now? Okay, but don't forget to show off that magic for Genie. Listen, never judge a street rat by his uh, cover. Genie would be impressed. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. And Genie's back to his old happy self. That guy cannot resist the magic show. I'm sorry, Vortex. That's it. Way to jump right into the thick of things. Whoa, slow down. Let me show Hello you. Hello, hi, a kid. I'm the genie. Good to meet you. Say, are you the one doing all the magic around here? Well, then I officially proclaim this a dance off. Okay, let genie dance Ooh, here. Kid. He's got to get it out of his system. Hey, I like 
like you, kid. You got heart. Oh, you got shame. Spot. I see what you mean, you Vortex. Good try, though. Course, I'd be happy to. Good. Should I sign it G or E? Or just Genie? Makes sense. I believe this belongs to you. See you later, kid. Now scram. Okay. Aurora's quest is like dance skip win. You can mash out of it, but then you can't get his autograph. So you kinda you're kinda screwed. Come on. Start the quest, girl. Come on. And Fauna and I will have to start all over. But now we need more ingredients. We have lots of flour. And if you could look for the other ingredients, come on, person. So grateful. Goodbye, dear. Good luck finding our special ingredients. Okay, so the special ingredients she needs for her cake. Uh, one of them, you walk right by Mickey, so we're just gonna knock this quest out as we're walking by him. Hi, everybody. Oh, say, pal, could you help me out again? I'm making a photo album for Minnie, but I still need pictures of Goofy and Donald. Would you mind finding Goofy and taking his picture for me? Oh, thanks. See ya. And thanks again for helping me get Goofy's picture. I'll see you on Main Street real soon. Mickey's in like three different places. That's kind of wacky. So that's one. And then I know the second one is down here. Like right by Goofy, the second uh, ingredient. And Goofy's quest, all you have to do is talk to him. So you might as well do this quest and get some free XP. pose for a picture. Kind of fun to be Goofy, ain't it? A beamer skip would be epic. I think, I don't know. You know don't that area's gotten a lot of attention, but I'm not saying there's not another skip. It'd just be, it wouldn't be obvious. You're gonna have to find it pronto. Good luck, pal. I'm sure you know that though. Finding stuff than you. Snow one. That's funny. Oh, snow one, because he's asking me to go to a snow base level. Okay, as long as that ingredient's collected, I can work back to Fantasyland here. That's what it would have to be. It would have to be called New Laugh Skip Skip Skip. That's true. Okay. Talk to Aurora again. So now she's going to start baking the cake. And while she's doing that, we're going to do some more quests. We'll start baking right away. Come back in a little while. We'd like to surprise you. Goodbye. It was lovely to see you. It was lovely to see you too, Aurora. So we're going to go to the park map and warp to Tomorrowland. Greetings. You can do a tutorial of Vortex. Head. I'm not feeling comfortable. And I'm not really playing Mirror's Edge right now either, so. Arrived just in time. The evil Emperor Zerg's been sighted in this quadrant. So Star Command has authorized me to issue protective weaponry to the most capable cadets in the system. Congratulations, you qualify. Always treat your cosmic blaster with respect. It's a powerful weapon. But as you're a cadet, it's been equipped with safety sensors. Your blaster will only fire in approved areas and approved targets. Thank you, Buzz. The safety will be released when you equip the blaster. All you have to do is aim and fire. Remember. A space ranger only uses such a weapon in extreme emergencies. Well, actually, I'm an American, so don't forget, cadet. Use that cosmic. Keep that in mind. And always show respect to the citizens you are sworn to protect. It has a safety curation, and Certainly. also this is America. It's have you considered that? It is literally registry. my constitutional right to have this blaster. It was very kind of you to ask. Thank you. Excellent. I see you're ready for the next step in your training. It's time we test your reflexes and build your stamina. Let's see what you've got. Follow my lead. It is Cadet. literally illegal not to give your child a gun. You can quote me on that. Hydrate? I kind of have to pee, but okay. Outstanding, Cadet. Maybe I should have peed before the run. 
I just drink so much water. I drink water when I'm bored at work. So I drink a lot of water. That's it. Just don't forget to breathe. Okay. Well done, cadet. You show great promise. Thank you. The Space Ranger Corps will be proud to have you in our ranks. Check in soon. I'll be right here. Bye, Bye Buzz. Save the world, Space Ranger. Okay, so now we're going to go to Stitch. Who's somewhere over here. Excuse me. Please, Stitch, where are you? Stitch, Stitch, Stitch. Found him. Aloha, boys. Yes, there Stitch. is downtown. And nice to meet you. Believe it or not, there oh, is downtime in Disneyland Stitch, Adventures. Come to you find lunch for Stitch? Taka. Fun for Stitch to sign book. <laughs> Yeah, there's one ride I can do nothing on. I could take a bathroom break if I wanted to. Come back, hurry! Stitch starving. Okay, I don't. This is the only big time loss in this run. Is that I don't know how to do this quest without the adventure trail, so I have to set it. There's like five burgers, and I don't feel like memorizing where they all are. I generally know that like you have to go this way. I don't know where the burgers are, and I'm not really familiar with Tomorrowland because this is. This five minute section of the run is the only time I'm ever in it. So like, yikes. Like, I don't even know where to go next. Okay. I guess this way. That's true. I don't have to worry about it. It's not here today. Don't worry about that little green men time loss. We're going to get their autographs at a different point in the run. It's kind of like I've kind of just reordered things to be more, uh, what do you call it, efficient. You have a confession? Oh, boy. You're getting a baton from Naveen. Cool. Do you think aliens give autographs? I do think aliens give autographs, magical voice. Salutations. We hope that you will help. We have been chosen. So you're about to see one of the only skips I know about in Disneyland Adventures. The book is yours. Goodbye. So get hype. A rescuer is near. Over here! Over here! Over here! I love that vortex. I'm wow. glad you like it so much. I also really like it. I wasn't kidding, obviously. I don't... I... Okay, if you mash B here, you can skip out of getting his second dialogue. Sick. So that saves like 10 seconds. Now we're gonna go to Crater County. That's like the only skip I know about. You have like a half second window to mash out of his dialogue before he starts giving you the second quest. And there's no, I don't need to get that second quest so I can skip his dialogue there. Anyway, that's one of the only skips I found. What is that bear bear doing over there? Ah, shut up, Briar Fox. Come on, we gotta try Splash Mountain. Pooh Bear. I'm winning the pool, but you can call me Pooh Bear if you'd like. So this quest is necessary to spawn Tigger. Oh, there's something I'm forgetting to remember. Oh yes, time for my. I don't know if GDQ would let this. I think it would be popular, oh, right? People me. like Disney. Is that what I'm doing? Ninja you move six. Right. At least another year of work. I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not strat hunting right now. Oh, I'm not I even playing Mirror's Edge. This I'm actively trying not to play Mirror's Edge. It's just like You're very good the time to enjoyment ratio I get from Mirror's Edge is not good right now. 
Access like I enjoy playing it, but I would enjoy other attack. things more. Hmm. Time for a small smackerel. Oh yes, I can sign my name. If you bop me, Christopher Robin showed me how. I would come back. The actual connect version would be hype. Well, perhaps you will always remember our time together. No oh, bother. I've just remembered. My cupboard is empty, and so are all. I might try to procure. Oh no, Kyle has a connect. The guy who's been I've been doing rounds with, Kyle, he has a copy of it. Ask him if he has any honey. My PB doesn't have cranes, I don't Goodbye. think. And if you do happen to see Piglet, so don't forget to ask about my honey. He's like, go talk to Piglet. Piglet's right here, you lazy bum. Uh, hello there, I'm Piglet. It's very nice to meet you. Pooh, honestly. <sighs> kind of shady, dude. I don't have any honey at all. Oh, uh, but you know, uh, sometimes Pooh forgets where he's hidden his emergency honey pots. Uh, maybe if you asked him about it, <laughs> he'd remember. Uh, why, certainly. <laughs> I'd be happy to. <laughs> I think this is the grandest book I've ever seen. Bye-bye uh, for now. Then talk to Pooh again, because he's... Dumb people won't oh, talk to each other. Hello, I love them. Listen, you know, they're adorable. I love Winnie the Pooh. I just wish he would walk. He's like, can you go find my friend Piglet? He's right there, dude. He's right there. Could you please return them to me? No cranes? Yeah, if I had done cranes, I would have gotten it. <laughs> or I would have lost the run. So, I mean, let's not hoe and hum about it. Okay, uh, luckily I know where all the honey parts are by heart, because I'm psychotic. Did you see my recent stuff in the Discord? I mean, I saw when we last DM'd. Oh my goodness, get out of my way. I don't know if something else happened, or if... In the Mirror's Edge Discord? Uh, if I saw it, I didn't process it as being you. I kind of just skim through Discord between phone calls at work. Don't tell my employer. Um, so I don't know. I might not. I might have read it, but not processed it. Yo, congrats on beverage skip. That skip is very hard to learn, but also very satisfying. So um, I hope it treats you well. I mean, you could say that about a lot of Mirror's Edge skips. They're all very hard to learn. That's like kind of the Mirror's Edge vibe. Everything is very hard to learn, I think. Like, every single skip that's not based around the core movement is very finicky. But, um, once you understand how it works, it's not, like, execution-wise super precise. But it's so annoying to learn. Oh god, so annoying. So, if you should see any more... You might consider bringing them to a certain bear, of whom I know. Goodbye. I hope you hear some honeypots calling to you the way they call to me. <laughs> okay, if you match out of that dialogue too fast, Look I found that Tigger won't spawn, but luckily I did not match too fast, so Tigger's um, right there, baby. Thanks for noticing me. Who bears looking for you? Thought you might wanna know. Okay. I'll Let's get this boy's best. autograph. It may not be the most famous name in your book, but it's sincere. Can we get a shout out to Eeyore? Don't He's the best. About me. Go on ahead and enjoy yourself. So you're in a hurry. Just bouncing by, I guess. Why a chum? I'm Tigger. T I double go er. Okay. So we're gonna go get Duffy's autograph after this. Tiggers do not. There's no better time to get it. And the sooner we get it, the better, because Duffy's, like, Duffy dolls that he leaves around the park, they spawn once you talk to him, and those get you XP. So, better to get those chillin' as soon as possible. Well, you know what I always say, TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Do you always say that, Tigger? Okay, Duffy. Duffy's over yonder. Come on, get the honeypot. Get the honeypot. No. Oh well. Rip. 
Hi, Duffy. Okay, Duffy, I need your autograph, please. Now that I've got Duffy's autograph, it's time to go talk to Baloo, because we need to do that quest. Okay, let's get it, Blue. Minute and a half in hey, ahead, pal, doing good. From clean. We're doing. It's a clean run so far. No, we're not going to go in Jungle Cruise just yet. We're going to get Blue's quest first. Blue the bear. Man, I've been waiting so long for Mowgli to come back that my stomach's starting to grumble. Any chance you could find me a pawpaw? Uh, there's sure to be a few growing in this jungle. I'd go myself, but I gotta keep an eye out for Mowgli. You want me to scratch the page for you? Yes, please, Blue. Oh, this is how famous humans live, huh? Yes, it is, Blue. Uh, be sure to come back now with a pawpaw for your old Papa Bear. <laughs> Up there! Look! Use your wand to collect that Okay. So this is one of the two rides that we do in the speedrun. The first being Thunder Mountain, which we did to get some money in the very, very early game. And now this, because it is required to spawn Mowgli. And Mowgli is a character whose autograph we need. We found it. Now but we're more than halfway through the run now, so uh, hopefully things will go well from here on out. I like to tell you everything I know I'm gonna alt tab out and, uh, and that concludes my scroll down a little bit. Okay, I can see the whole rest of the route on my screen now, which is a good sign. Uh, you know what's in that my way though? Like it's worth this something. is in my way. Jump up and grab it if you can. Okay, I'll jump up and grab it. Who's now I'm playing the game again. Very rare. Except for one day, every year That's a pawpaw up there. We need that. Yes. Lucky for you, Sick. today is that day. Uh, I don't know if getting you 5 stars gets you extra XP, so I just always try to get 5 stars, just I'm in so case. You on Wait a it can be on uh, actually, semi-important, if, if a hippo now. hits your boat, okay, the boat will kind of stumble and go a little bit slower, so it's actually kind of low-key important that we pay attention on this ride, and we, like, eat those hippos I'm out of the way. I don't go down that hidden path that there because hit. I think it's slower. Okay, there's Papa number two here. Common. Lucky for you, today is that day. And, uh, I'm gonna spray these fellas down, just for fun. I think they look warm. I'm just trying to be a good citizen. No time save here. Dry on strats? I'd hope so, you gave me so many. <laughs> I would be, like, stupefied if you somehow had more strats. No strat montage in the future? That's okay. It's getting a little swifter. I wish I could say the same for myself. You were just a part of the strat montage of the year, unless Rec makes one or Gloss drink, makes one. Means, give them a drink. If someone can find a use for those swinging you, poles, it. that I swinging pole it. mechanic, other than the Chapter Nine Shard one that's already known, hoof. Now that would be hyper risky. If you see something that looks valuable, grab it. It's probably better that people just, like, post in the Discord when they find a strat. Like, I mentioned this before, like, I think strat hoarding the culture is kind of a little bit toxic. Um, or maybe toxic's not the right word, but it's kind of unproductive for people to hoard their strats rather than, like, especially if it's, like, a time save or a chapter run or something. For the most part, the stuff people post in these, like, strat montages, at least at this point, nice isn't single segment viable. 
or chapter unviable. But I think when people are hoarding chapter unviable strats, like that's kind of unproductive, you know? Like get that out there as soon as possible so people can do runs of it. But instead people wait. I mean, I'm guilty of this. I mean, we just, we hoarded that, not for long, but like we hoarded that atrium climb that is like chapter run consistent and possibly any percent consistent for the montage. Now, I don't think that's as bad of a grievance because we only waited like a week. But, you know, I think like, I like it better that Wreck is just like posting when he finds something fast. Gets out there sooner. Um, you don't think searching for it. I wish people posted more stuff publicly. So that you didn't have to like, go searching in the Discord for like these random time saves. But, uh... Oh well. I understand people don't want to clog up their YouTube channels with these boring, like, three second videos. You know, we have one of these guys working in our office for a while. But there was Small exception people who find a strat, post it, and immediately grind for world record with it. Look out! That one's splashing back! I mean, yeah. That's fine. Uh, if you find a new strat, and you, you want to get world record one. with it before You're you post it, I mean, that's problem. fine. But if you find a strat and you're like, I'm not going to tell the whole community because I want to get world record in a year from now, like, obviously that's kind of toxic. But I don't think that's what you're saying. I think everyone already agrees on what I just said. Speedrunning has come really far. Literally, one of the first questions people ask me whenever I talk about speedrunning is I'd be like, oh, like, this person found this. And they're like, why did they tell you? It's like, I think that's so funny. That's such a funny question. Like... Why didn't you keep it to yourself, you know? Yes, it's just like, that's not how speedrunning works. Like, I don't know how to break it to them. Like, that's you not how it works, runner. you know? He made a video on hoarding. Did he actually? Really I don't know if I saw it. You. Listen, I'm a big Ricky stan. I'll stan Ricky till the day I die, but I don't know if I've seen that video. Try to blast those toothy predators before they jump the ball. I'm trying. I'm actually not doing a very good job blasting those toothy predators. How can this be? These are the runner attack! I haven't seen that video, but that sounds really cool. Is it just like a vlog, or was it one of his? Because he's been doing scripted content recently. So I don't know what kind of video it was. Ricky is a really awesome person. I should... I should do his Patreon. He deserves it. I might do that later today. I'll see. Definitely later this year. He's a really, he's a really good guy. He tries really hard. To, to be a good person. I think, like, I think being an older person, older, being, like, past your early 20s in the speedrun community, like, he's a little more mature, and he's seen, he's kind of gained a lot of wisdom, and he tries really hard to be a good force in his communities, and it shows. I'm talking about the Rixer, for anyone who doesn't know. When I say Ricky, great guy. Hey, up there! That looks like a job for your magic wand. Okay, so now I need to show off to spawn Mowgli. It's the same way you do with Genie. You just have to go to these lamps and just kind of spam. And then the quest will complete. I don't know why. Those lamps are like magic. They complete the quest so fast. Anyway. Oh, back to the speed run. No more gushing about speedrunners who I love. Oh, you got talent, kid. I'll give you that. Okay. know what we got to do next. Dance with me, kid. Come on. You got the groove and you know how to move. Oh, thanks, kid. Man, do I feel light on my feet. Here, I want you to have Right, that's different vortex. Now, where was I? Oh, I'm not like oh, I don't think we do it as much anymore, but I think it kind of was a thing. For like a good year there. How about I just say so long? But I think it's gotten a lot better in recent months and years. I'm Mowgli. I bet we'll be great friends. Hi Mowgli. Right Sign my book. book. That's all I care about. Sure, I can do that. Here you go. Okay, yeah, now we're gonna go get. My name. Let's go get Naveen's you autograph. Tell me your adventures. Oh, pull, pull! <sighs> big time loss. Big time loss. Those poles have such big collision. Pardon me, sir. Would you mind?
yeah, Rex the Rex gone really good about uh, organizing strats. He does a lot for this community in terms of strats. Can we please? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Prince Naveen of Meldonia. Aha, Rexy also does a lot. Music lover. Have I got something for you, my friend? I love him. Baton. It has led some of the most spectacular parades of all time. You must try it yourself, and very soon. We get like a fourth of a bar of XP just for getting this baton. It's kind of crucial that we talk to Naveen. Oh. We have to anyway, so it's fine. I am proud to present to you my name. Ah, very good. You are off to explore. Bye for now. Bye, Naveen. Nifty. It's a magic baton. Let's keep our eyes open for things to conduct, huh? And now Black yeah, Party. Level five. level five. Sick. That's perfect. Ahoy there, me lad. You're standing face to face with Black Barty the Fierce. Are you trembling? I am not trembling, Black Barty. I to tell you, and here's the first. I was in New Orleans before. I love Black Barty because he's like Jack Sparrow, but they couldn't license him. So the Black Barty is an original character in this game. He's never appeared anywhere else. His backstory is that he's been in New Orleans before. That's his backstory. Okay, so now we're going to warp back to... Till later then, these tired bones ain't wandering no place. Uh, mind ye, bring back that hot cup of comfort. I will not, Black Barty, sorry. Your quest has been out outdated from this route. Adventureland Warp. Okay, now, now that we're level five, uh, Genie sp spawns a crucial quest that will end up spawning Jasmine, so we're gonna do this quest. Hey. You've got a camera? Can you help me out with a little project? You see, I told Jasmine. Not Robin Williams, of course, but um this, gorgeous, I think this voice actor does a good job. But then I realized I had no idea how to do it. Will you go take some pictures for me and let me see what all the other princesses are wearing? Here, fill this book with pictures. Be my fashion spy. Please, please, please. Come back soon and keep up with the paparazzi picture taken. Okay, so first we're gonna take a picture of Tiana. Why, hello. Actually, no, we're gonna talk to her first. Take a picture. Super and we're gonna get her autograph. Hi there. I'm Tiana. It sure we're gonna take a picture at the end. I'm so glad you're here. Naveen's been away for a few days, and I could use an extra hand around the restaurant. Would you mind gathering? No, up I'm actually on pace for sub fifteen. One fifteen. Oh, sweet thing to ask. I'd love. To and there's a big minute-long time save coming up soon. It was my pleasure. So I'm excited for that too. I'll get started on the menu while you keep looking for the rest of the ingredients. <sighs> Bye now. Okay. So now we need to get her your gumbo ingredients. And luckily, I don't need the adventure trail for this. I actually know where all the ingredients are. Cuz I'm a god. So the first ingredient is over right next to her. Kind of, you know, a little skeptical she couldn't get it herself, but alas. Second ingredient's over here. And third ingredient is right around this corner. So now that we got the third ingredient, we're gonna run right back to Tiana. And once we get close to Tiana, we're going to switch to the camera because we're going to need to take her picture for the genie quest, which will spawn Jasmine. Okay. So now, pretty sure our picture's over here. Yeah. Well, hi there. It's me, Tiana. Yes, it is, Tiana. Okay. Now we're going to talk to Tiana to finish the quest. God, the camera just spazzed out. These are perfect. You found everything I need. Thank you. Now I'll get that gumbo going right away. Be sure to come back and try it. We will never Take come back and try it, which is kind of a shame. Bye-bye. Okay, now we're going to warp to Fantasyland. We're going to go take Snow White's picture. Right over here. Excuse me, young sir. Nope, we're not going to talk to her. She'll do some long dialogue. Just ignore her, just ignore her. She'll go away. Take 
And now we're going to talk to Aurora. And remember, we asked her to bake a cake. I'm sure you remember. We did two quests about it. Well, luckily, our efforts are going to pay off. So after we take a picture of Aurora, we're going to talk to her, finish the cake quest, and she'll give us the final um, cake, and we'll get the XP for it. Everything's been leading to this moment. You're back already? But get this, we did all this work in her cake, it's crap. It's crap. That's okay. We'll do some magic to it. So I'm just gonna mash the buttons here. Boop! Perfect cake now. I'm a genius. Oh, it's beautiful. Aunt Merryweather was going to adore her cake. Especially because it's blue. Especially because it's blue. For all your help. We've already got a picture of her, so goodbye. We'll meet again. We should plan a royal ball ah, it's and invite you. everyone in the kingdom. I'm gonna pick up some Okie dokie. Second start of the ride. So now we're going to take Cinderella's picture. Cinderella is so nice. I know she'll sign your book. I think she'll sign my book too. I need to find the picture spot though. Where is it? Here it is. Ugh, I always forget where it is. Luckily, people just fade out of the thing. And I need to talk to her to get her autograph. There's a lot you need to do in this quest. This quest is kind of intense. You can never have too much thread when you're sewing. Retweet Cinderella. You'd like me to sign this? Oh, I'd be happy to. Now we're gonna go over to Ariel and Belle and take their pictures, and that'll complete the quest. Will this do? Aw, she's so cute. She's so cute. Remember, any thread will do. We'll need quite a lot for all the things we've planned. Oh. We'll need quite a lot, won't we, Cinderella? Okay. So now, let's go take a picture of Ariel. We need to find an ATM. Guess what Stinky Pete's got for I just need the actual Fish thing to spawn. Right. Yep, perfect. Stinky Pete's fishing rod might actually get us XP, though. I don't think it does. I think we tested that already, though. I'll check after this. Come on. Ugh, the camera screwed me over. And now Belle has a quest, but we're going to ignore it. Okay, so that's all six princesses, which means we can now... Yep. Warp back to Adventureland. Come on. Come on. Talk to Genie and finish this quest. I don't need the camera anymore, so let's switch back to the wand. It's so hard to switch back to the wand. Come on. Come on. There it is. Jesus Christ. Shame. A little bit of time save, but that's tricky. Very precise skip. Just skipped the wand. Now I can design something to take the Royal Feast world by storm. I'm sure I'll see you again, friend. And now that this quest is done, day, Aladdin has a quest love all this sunshine. where I've got to get some dates for oh, Jasmine. Jasmine, while for Jasmine loves for dates. Maybe I should take her a little present in the meantime. Oh, I know. She loves to eat dates. Would you help me look for some? Bye for now. And let me know when you find some more dates. So there's some dates Ooh, over here, I think. Here. I've never yeah, actually found the dates. That I just, oh, like they're right here. For your magic okay. Wand. And then there's other dates uh, behind Mowgli. Mowgli. I always mispronounce his name because I'm an idiot. There's the dates. Perfect. Good date. I wasn't planning on having a war because I'm not playing Mirror's Edge right now. You caught me. If you really want to have one, though, I mean, I will do just that one map. I'm a people pleaser like that. I hear Jeannie finished the outfit. Jasmine will be really excited about it. Oh, hey, could you take the dates to her? You really ought to get credit for finding them. I know. I really do ought to get the credit for finding them. Thank you, I'll Aladdin. See you the bazaar. Jeannie would be impressed. <laughs> Hello, Jasmine. Hello, young man. I'm the Sultan's daughter, Jasmine. That you are, Jasmine. As the Sultan's daughter, I am honored. Okay, so that's Very Jasmine. Sweet of you to ask. What a beautiful outfit. Why, it's big time saver. That's my big time save. And those dates you brought me are delicious. 
Now there's one special favor I'd like to ask. Okay, so there's only three more quests left. And I'm not going to do any of them with the adventure trail. So these are the only last high stakes quests. I'm sure you'll find my bracelet soon. So we're going to go to park map. And we're going to go to Critter County. And we're going to do Briar Fox's quest. We're in the end game now. That's true. Well, but we need Briar Bear's autograph Briar first. Bear. <laughs> An autograph? Oh, you mean mark my name. Is Briar Bear racist? Maybe. There you go. I signed it, bro Bear. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> I only beat you because of the rule set revision. Hey man, a win's a win. <laughs> I was too lazy to go back and fix it. That's on me. Next chance I get, I'm gonna settle that Brer Rabbit once and for Brer Fox. Glad to meet you, and I'm sure you feel the same. <laughs> Oh, that Brad Rabbit. He's leading us on another round of hide and seek. But you're going to help me and Brad Bear outsmart him. You Am can I? Use that fancy picture taker of yours okay. to track the rabbit's tracks. Now you can do that, can't you? I can. I'm going to get his autograph you now before I forget. This? What's the catch? All right. Here's your signature. Don't say I never gave you nothing. No time to stand here and yammer. Go track down those tracks. I think it's a fake time save. Okay. So s there's three sets of tracks, and I kind of have them memorized now. There's one over here. Ugh, camera. There's one over in this corner. This is I call this the corner in my notes because you go here like three times. Uh okay, come on. It's okay, now they're in my vortex. And last but certainly not least, maybe the least, there's a set of prints over here. Pay no attention to me. Okay, here we are. Oh, now there's a friendly looking face. Oh, thank you, Tigger. Okay. Where'd all you folks come from? Oh, I'm gonna switch back to the wand, which is so hard. Thank you. Just in case we need to wand spam later. This is run is sick. I think this is gonna kill the category for now. Rabbit gives me the Oh you got all the tracks. You really did. I really did. Now, what do we need next? What do we need oh. next? It's rope, by the way. Oh, that's right. We're gonna tie up that. I have it in my notes. I mean, boy, we sure are gonna have fun playing skip the rope with Brad Rabbit. That's it. Uh, now, use those big old peepers and look high and low till you find some. Alright, alright, okay. bye. Off you go. Oh. So, there are three ropes. One is in the corner, over here. Hey, up there! That looks like a job. And then one is one. over here by Tigger. I don't want to take up anybody's time. <gasps> I'm spellity binded. -ed -ed. Yeah, you are, Tigger. And then there's one way down by the front of Critter County, which I can just warp to. I'm doing that. I never, why did I never think to do that? I'm dumb. I'm not dumb. Good time save, though. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Cool. Look at that. Always saving time. On the fly routing, boys. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, last but not least, carrots. Carrots. This is not the 109. There's still one more carrot quest. Don't, don't get excited. 
We got work to do. You go after those carrots. Okay. But I know he's close by. It's one right here. And then there's one carrot to the right of Piglet, is what I put in my notes. You know where Piglet is, of course. As Disneyland Adventures speedrun viewers. You might know better than anyone. So here it is. And then to the left of Pooh, I said there's one. Oh yeah, right there. Good notes, Nick. Not the sub 110, but... I don't know if I could get sub 110. That's probably the... If I wanted to grind this game, that'd probably be the end goal. But... I think I'm done for now. As long as this gets to level 6. If this quest gets us to level 6, we got the run. So let's pray he gives us the megaphone. That's what we needed. Bless up. Bless up. Ah. Maybe we weren't fixing to throw a party for Brad Rack. Maybe we were setting a trap. Oof. And you helped us. <laughs> I think I'm done for now. I wished I lost like 20 the seconds in the early game by taking a bad routing for coins. But other than that, this is a really clean run. <laughs> really clean. The only way someone's going to beat this is with uh, a lot of effort or with better routing. Better routing being the much more probable option. Clean run, though. Wow. GG. There's Briar Rabbit. Let's uh, talk to him. Briar Rabbit's my name. Sure is good to meet you. We need your autograph, I sir. But that's all right. They might catch me, but I'm too clever to stay caught for long. You are too clever, Briar Rabbit. Just Give me your autograph. Rabbit on it, huh? Mighty kind of you. Is it going to be 111.11? Come on. I'll hurry. I'll try to make it 111.11. What do you say we turn the tables on him? Oh, no. He has more dialogue. Never mind. A boy can dream. I hid him in a cloth bag somewhere around here so Brer Fox wouldn't find him. Could you bring him to me? So long, and don't forget to find my extra clothes. Whew. 111.25. I think that's it. I'm going to skip this cutscene and show you the autograph books so we can stop the VOD as soon as possible. But that is Disneyland Adventures All Autographs. So now if I go to the autographs down here, all the tricksters, all the villains, all the princesses, all the sensational six, big and small, Winnie Pooh, Toy Story, Alice in Wonderland, and of course, Heroes. That is all 42 unique autographs from the 43 characters. Ship and Dale are two characters who give you one autograph. So there it is. Disneyland Adventures, all autographs, world record. The weather is good, the fishing is fine. Whew.